Hello folks, welcome to another video from the Swan Song. Um, yeah, I've, I've not forgotten you all. Um, there's a lot of things that have been keeping me busy. And, uh, but I've got a lot of plans as well, despite my health condition. Um, I finally got around to setting up my scan and cut and my printer. So I'm going to start doing some of my creative stuff soon. I'm just waiting for one more thing to arrive today. Once I've got that set up, then I can start getting on with being creative. Um, you do have to love Amazon, don't you? Yeah. Anyway, uh, settling in okay on the boat. Um, discovering a few things, you know, uh, about fuel costs and that. Uh, for me, using diesel as the heat for the heating, it's costing uh, about £108 a month. So, uh, um, electricity is, is, is not bad at all. <laughs> In two months, I think I've used £29. So, uh, that's, you know, I, I, I'm not grumbling at that because I, I tend not to, I, the things are plugged in. My, um, I've got the halogen oven, what I've been cooking on, and, uh, I use it um, because you can't use the solars, well it's pretty useless in the winter, um, to charge up the generators. I've been just giving those a, um, you know, um, powering those up, charging those up um, through the uh, mains. And uh, the reason why I do that is because I like to have them charged up, but also because I I've got one at each side of the boat and um, I've got my USB cables plugged into them and so I can charge up or I can give power to my device for instance if I'm in either in bed or um, this end I've got one which is charging which is keeping the router running um, because I haven't got a, a, um, a cable going from um, the front of the boat the bow <laughs> um, into the cabin because there's no hole and it's metal and what have you. And I haven't got the kit, so uh, so that's uh, the reason why I'm uh, why I've got that in there. I tell you what, though, out of the uh, Jackery and the all power generators, I prefer the all power. It seems to go, I know it's slightly more powerful, but it does seem to go a lot further and um, a lot less charging up needed. So, uh, yeah, I'm quite, uh, I mean, I, you know, I'm quite, uh, plus you can control it with your phone as well, so which is great. Um, so, yeah, I've pr pretty well got all my things together. Um, I'm looking forward to the spring, to be honest, because that's when really I'm going to be able to put my photography in that to a real test. Uh, I have done quite a, taken quite a lot of photos, and I did see the Kingfisher, and I've got photos of it. So I might tag a photo just at the end of this video for you to have a look at. But uh, that was a joy because it was out of the window, which is just there. And uh, they, um, it was on the light of the boat next to me, so that was good. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it's, it's all the dog hair in here. Oh, she's still molting. Uh, she's a lot better now. Yeah, so that that was that really made my week. That did. And, uh, yeah, so chuffed with that. So, living on the boat, 
for a total beginner like me. The thing which I'm finding the most difficult and it, really, really difficult is the toilet cassettes. Um, carrying them and, em and emptying them. Because of my long COVID, my legs buckle on me and I get uh, breathless very easily. So, uh, and then I get, I, you know, it just, I feel, if I overdo it, I get kind of um, dizzy, faintish. And um, so I've just got to take it easy with, with that. But, but that's really hard. And I'm hoping to get somebody to help me out, um, get a carer in, but um, I'm not having any luck at the minute. I think they're very busy. So, uh, but that's what I'm hoping in the new year and get somebody in um, every uh, couple of weeks maybe or maybe every week just to help me out on that side because um, I don't uh, I'm not one of these people who likes to ask for help and I find it really difficult you know like on the marina for instance I've run out I've got no gas now um, and I wasn't sure how to uh, change the gas over from one cylinder to the other but I've looked on uh, YouTube but the problem is I've got no spanner so <laughs> can't do it anyway so I've not had any gas for three days um, but thankfully I've got the halogen and I've got the ninja so um, other than apart from hot drinks which I've not been able to have um, I'm managing with that um, I got uh, some new clothes. I thought I'd better better have something different because I I buy tend to buy if there's something I like I'd buy half a dozen or more of that of the same colour. I thought well everyone's probably going to be looking at me, especially and around the marina. They must think I've got the same thing on all the time, but I haven't. So I've bought another lot of different clothes now. <laughs> uh, this one's one of these, um, well, I don't know what, it's like fleece lined. It's uh, quite a heavy thing and it, it's it's lovely and warm. I can't go and bore that, so I'll put it to the test. Because um, it, my hands are cold, for instance, now, folks. I've got the heating on comes on at seven in the morning and it's what what it is now I haven't got my watches on charge um got to be 10 10 10 o'clock time is it 10 30 let's have a look oh no getting on 9 50. um and because it was a cold night i'm thinking i maybe have to put the heating on um maybe a bit earlier I'm just trying to um, figure out what my costs are going to be. Um, admittedly, I won't be using that amount of uh, diesel in the um, spring summertime, um, but nevertheless, you know, just it's nice to know what's going on. I am. Uh, I'm. Uh, Babbling, babbling along, aren't I? I've got no structure to this chat today. <laughs> Sometimes you just want to be chilled, and uh, I just fancied uh, just giving a little update. And uh, yeah, uh, I love it on the boat, I do. And uh, I'm, I'm uh, all ready now. Put, I've, I've got the freezers literally stocked up now. I've got the um, the game meat, which I'm going to be doing some cooking videos of over the Christmas New Year period. Um, again, with the um, there'll be the photography side and the cra uh, art craft side. So uh, yeah, I'm starting out. I've been a bit slow. Um, I've really, I've just been chilling it and 
just been enjoying the freedom of having my own um, property and um, and not um, trying not to worry about things. Although I've had I have had quite a few appointments, but um, that's now about to change because I've now actually. Um, had an independent assessment for my health side and uh, and so uh, I don't, no longer need to um, send sick notes in or look for work because I've said I'm not fit for it. Right. Um, that noise, what you can hear folks, it's Lady, she's sitting next to me and she's grooming her feet at the moment yeah yeah so uh things are starting to to uh fall into place and um you know j just one or two minor hiccups but i'm all prepared if we go into a lockdown which i'm pretty sure we will at some point um i'm stocked up with uh with my soft drinks with my freezer and all my chocolates and my snacks and stuff, biscuits, what have you. So I'm all right for a month or two. So uh, I'm not going to starve. <laughs> uh, admittedly, I've got all this here, and I tend to, I've not got such a big appetite now. Whereas if I haven't got anything, I'm really, I'm really craving for something. So. Never mind. I think I've just got to have a quick uh, sipper for me. Drink. So, um, in case any of you are wondering, I'm using one of these Sony vlogging cameras at the moment. Not the very latest, the one before. Um, but I've got one of these cheaper uh um gimbals um with a, a remote here so i can uh, control the uh the video the i can take snapshots um i can zoom in and out i keep forgetting about that and uh cancel the recording and there's other things it can do but I find it really uh, really useful so uh, yeah yeah so what else I was, there was something else I wanted to say no, what was it did I, I'm not sure did I mention about costs I have a feeling I did, but I don't know where. Maybe it was on a previous video, so I'm not going to go into that at the point. But if anyone wants to know, I can tell you uh, roughly the electricity, the... Well, gas-wise, I think uh, it was about... I had one cylinder on it, it was lasted for two months. Oh, lady! Oh! Lady's just trumped. Oh dear. Oh, that was oh that was a bad one. Even she looked the other way. <sighs> oh, what we have to put up with, oh, baby. <laughs> where was I? I don't know where I was now, folks. Uh, Oh, that was, that was bad. That was bad. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm totally lost. <laughs> oh, that was it. it was about the about the um, bills, wasn't it? Yeah. So we got the um, the gas. We got the electricity and. Um, Gas, electricity. It's 
So I'm a bit tired this morning. I had a bit of a um, disturbed night's sleep. Um, sometimes I know people who are new to boats are wondering, do you have to pay council tax? Well, I don't, and I've gone through the local council and that, and they've, they've assured me I don't have to pay it, so um, I'm not paying it. Um, but I think some places you might have to. Uh, I think it depends on the type of mooring and stuff, is what you've got as well. So, but it, you, you, you'll get different replies from different people. So I don't think any, don't think anyone really knows. <laughs> but uh, all I know is I don't have, don't have that to sort out. As far as costs go with with the marina, it's working out for the mooring fee for the extra fee which covers things like hook up to the electricity, um, your water, um, use of the of the showers, the um, the Elson, the lounge, the kitchen, um, the laundrette. Uh, that's another fee what you, you pay and then there's also if you're um, a resident in that then you have to pay what's called an environmental fee um, and I ca can't tell you what exactly that covers but all, all the, part of it I know is to do with the upkeep of the marina so you're paying towards that and basically all that comes to for my boat, which is a 46 foot, um, it works out at um, £250 a month. Yeah. Which I don't think, uh, I don't think it's too bad. You compare that with uh, if I had to rent a house, you know, I'd be looking at 700 plus a month in this area. So, uh, um, plus, you know, uh, the water's included as well, whereas we used to be paying £50 a month for that. So, um, yeah, I can't grumble with that. you just got your, um, your electricity and gas and what have you to go on top of that. Um, so, for me, I think it, 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 it's ch a cheaper option and one which I can probably, which one which I can cope with. Mitchell Lee got a smaller place, but it's, uh, just listen folks, all you can hear is, you can just hear the heat in, ticking over in the background at the minute. Um, but there's no noise outside, it's quiet, no road noise, it's a lovely place. Um, I've got the the uh, lake literally opposite me. Um, it's a bit too cold at the moment to be out there with a the camera um, filming the swans and the ducks. But uh, when it get when it's a milder day and that, then I will do that. Um, but yeah, it is a joy. It's a, it's just a yeah, it's different than I expected. Um, You know, I thought the I thought the boat would be swaying more, but it's not at all. Not even when we had that storm. Um, you just don't uh, don't really. The only time you will notice it, and yeah, I had some I had a bit friend came <coughs> a couple of days ago, and uh, she was looking outside of this window when the curtains were open. And when you got a, a straight edge like of the boat, what's um, out there, um, she could see then that the boat was going, was swaying because looking at that, you could see that 
there was there was a movement, but otherwise, when you're on air, you don't really notice anything. No, so uh, that was quite good. Uh, yeah, I have. Um, what I have missed is TV in here. I know I can watch it on the um, on the laptop. But if I'm watching it on the laptop, then I can't be working on it. So I have actually got a TV coming uh, because the TVs what are in here are not smart TVs. So I can't hook up my um, my devices and that to it. I can't um, uh, can't use Netflix and uh, the other and. Um, Prime and what have you. So uh, that's 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 arriving today. So that once that gets in, I've got that wired up. Then I can have that just ticking over because I find that when I'm doing my creative stuff, I like to have the TV just on in the background. And because uh, I'm not a music person, but TV yes. And then uh, and sometimes I could be watching something what I want. And it inspires me to be creative. It might be nothing to do with creativity. It could be a film, an action film, but you know, it, it just gets me in the mood. So, uh, so I'm looking forward to that. And, uh, and it, it's controlled by Alexa, so uh, that'll be something new. I, I've not got any Alexa devices, but uh, we'll see. See how that goes. Um, obviously, you've got the apps on the phone and stuff. So that I think I think I've about covered everything folks. Um yeah. With the, when I was saying the water's included what happens you just you've got a, a point outside and you put your hose, you connect it up to there, you've got a place on your boat where you unscrew the cap. Um, put the other end of the of the hose, just dangle it into it, and then you've got a uh, on this marina you've got a, a machine, and you have to put your code and that in, and that activates your water, and then it will just start filling the tank up. And uh, I'm not sure how long it will take to fill it all the way up because I haven't done it yet, but. Um, so it will be more than half an hour, I can tell you that, because I waited half an hour and it hadn't filled it up. But, uh, I'm going to put an, I'm going to put some more in uh, probably later today and uh, just try and keep it topped up while the weather's not too bad. You know, you know what it's like when it comes to New Year, that's when it kind of gets a bit colder again and you know, you might get a bit of snow or rain or whatever. So, you know, you have to take the opportunity while it's dry to uh, top it up. But, uh, but it's literally mm, 15 feet from my boat. You know, it's literally, it's just outside. So it's 15 feet from where I, it's not, not even 15 feet from the boat, but it's 15 feet from where the, um, the cap is on the boat. Um, so, and every everyone's got that provision if they use, if they've signed up for it, but I doubt it. Everyone does because uh, it adds. What is it about? I'm not sure what the breakdown is now. I think it was seven hundred for a quarter. That'd be 230 a year. No, that's wrong. 700 a year. <laughs> I thought I got something wrong there. 700 a year, yeah. So, uh, I think the environmental is 700 as well. And just the normal, I think, is about 1700. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, hey. thank you so much for watching. I'd like to uh, wish you all a happy Christmas and a uh, uh, and a happy New Year. And I hope you continue to watch the channel. I will get into some sort of um, r regular videos, and I will <laughs> um, refine my. Um, chat so they're not so much um, trying to think what I'm going to say I'll have it organized a little bit better but sometimes it's best just to be like this I don't want to be kind of um, scripted in that really so uh, just lay back and uh, keep an eye out and don't forget to look at the kingfisher at the end and I'll put a, a clip of the otters as well. It's only a quick one. Quality is not very good, so it was, uh, um, you know, a spur of the moment. Not done by me, by somebody else on the marina, but I'll add that to it as well, so you can uh, enjoy that. Okay, so that that will be somewhere near the end. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. Bye, folks.